First Chronicles 17, 21, and 22. And what one nation in the earth is your people, Israel, who God went to redeem to be his own, to make you name a name of greatness and awareness by driving out the nations from before your people, whom you have redeemed out of Egypt. For your people, Israel, did you make your own people forever, and you, Lord, become their God. You know, God's reminding them of who exactly He is and what He exactly did for them. Sometimes we need a reminder. Sometimes we need to realize our purpose as the church isn't to do what we want. It isn't to do our purpose and what we see fit, but it is to serve Him and do what He wants of us. You know, He saved us. He didn't save us from Egypt, though. He saved Israel from Egypt. He made Israel into a nation. He saved us from sin. And it made us into His family. It made us royalty. It made us justified and sanctified by Him. He made us far greater than just a nation. Rescued us far, far greater things than another nation. He saved our souls. He gives us hope. He gives us life. He gives us purpose. We need to give Him praise. We need to realize who He is and truly accept Him and follow him. He, God has done great miracles. He did great miracles out of nothing. Else. God's done miracles. God has shown who he is. He gives us the blessing if we're his to show us who he is to where we can come. That isn't something he has to do. It's a blessing allowing us to come to him through faith. It's a blessing. We take that so much for granted that we're owed salvation. No, we know salvation. We're freely given it through His mercy and grace. We don't deserve nothing, but He gives us everything. We need to serve Him. We need to put Him first. You know, if we put anything before Him, then that becomes our God, not Him. Oftentimes we put what we want before Him. And we make ourselves God. It's called pride. We need to be humble and be servants to Him. Because doing anything other isn't truly allowing Him to be the Lord of our life as He should be.